All right, hey guys, uh, we're going to do this one facing you the entire time, uh, which I haven't done in a while. So tonight we're looking at the Cryptek uh, Tactical Rugby shirt, I think is what they call it. Um, I don't know. It's made famous by a certain cool guy picture out there. There's a, a brown one. I don't know. But uh, I got their black gray scheme. I can't remember what they call it. Typhoon or something, maybe. Um, so I got this in large. And uh, it fits pretty well uh, in the torso. Uh, it's got a nice long torso on it. Uh, so you can tuck it in real easy and, and not worry about uh, plumber's crack or whatnot. Uh, the arms, I will say, are a little a little baggy. Um, but I don't have big arms either. Uh, I've never been very big. So uh, the arms would be like my one complaint. All right, and I've got pretty short arms too. So they're kind of comically long. Uh, but they do have a nice Velcro closure there if, uh, if you don't like wizard sleeves, but if you don't like wizard sleeves, probably isn't the channel to follow. So, uh, tuck them up a couple times and then the sleeves get much more bearable. Um, they also have a pocket on them, which I believe, uh, would fit like a cry field pad. I didn't check if Cryptic makes their own pads and I apologize for letting you guys down about that, but it's a field style pad pocket. Uh, it it kind of has a collar on it that you you could flip up if you need some sun protection or sling protection or whatnot. Uh, but it also folds down pretty well flat. Uh, and then it's got some uh, dual shoulder pockets here. So you've got a zippered pocket on the bottom, uh, which is kind of nice, or the front face I should say, leading edge of your pocket, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then a typical like raid style uh, pocket there. Uh, kind of interesting, it's Velcro closure and snaps. Uh, so if you're in a hurry, you just, you know, flip it down and you got some Velcro closure there. Uh, if you want it more secure, you can line up your snaps. And then if for whatever reason you were a super cool guy and wanted it to be quiet, uh, you just need a little, ch little chunk of hook or loop there uh, to help cancel out that Velcro. And then you just rely on the, the straps. Uh, and then one of the last features on here is you've got some... Uh, printed mesh, uh, so color matched mesh, which is kind of nice um, for ventilation in your armpits in case you get real sweaty. Uh, but it's it's not a bad shirt, right? So it's, it's a, a very uh, t-shirt material, a little bit more comfortable in my opinion than, than the cry like torso portion. Uh, I don't know if it's as durable uh, because it is rather thin, but you know, if you've got plate carrier on top of that, not too much of a hazard. Uh, maybe you get some Velcro, uh, like, pilling issues. Sleeves are nice uh, quality material. They feel pretty pretty durable. Um, a little bit more stiff than a, a cry top. Um, much more, like, almost equipment uh, thickness to it. I don't know. They're probably, probably super confusing. But they feel nice and durable. Uh, I wouldn't worry about wearing out the sleeves too fast. And then uh, the rugby style neck is kind of a, a newer thing. I've never tried one out before, but I can definitely see being a fan. Uh, plus, it forces you, right? So, like, combat tops, zippers down or, or don't even wear them, right? Uh, this forces your hand, so you can't can't zip it up. Uh, but you get a little bit, of, little bit of taco meat there hanging out. I think it's a pretty decent decent cut on the shirt. Uh, nice middle ground between people that zip it all the way up and, and don't zip it. So, uh, Cryptek Tactical Rub Gee shirt. Uh, I think they're right around $100. I got it Black Friday, and I think for $60. For 60, it's absolutely a win. Uh, $100, if you use a pattern that they sell, then it's probably worthwhile, but this is just for LARPing. So $100 would probably be a little much. Um, plus, you know, Cryptic's not not like crazy popular. I don't know if there's some police departments out there using it, but probably not the, the multi-cam black copy. All right, so thanks guys. Uh, check it out.